District. Then from 2016 to 2018, he served as the commander of the 2nd District. And before he took the helm as chief of police, Superintendent Ferguson oversaw the police academy, training the next generation of NOPD officers. Well, reaction to this retirement announcement is flooding in from City Hall, but some city leaders say they are not happy about this decision coming before the new year when a new law takes effect. And that's where WDSU's Cassie Sherm picks up our live team coverage. Cassie, what is the biggest concern? Well, so one of the biggest concerns is a lack of transparency in timing because this move this early takes away the community's chance to have a voice in who fights and leads the fight against violent crime here in the city. Now, the change at the top of NOPD means Cantrell can go around a new city ordinance that takes effect January 1st that the community voted through. It requires the city council to confirm or deny the mayor's pick to run key departments. City council member JP Morrell says to add to his frustration with this decision, the person who may be taking his position as a leader is a leader of NOPD. Someone the department has even had issues with criticizing leadership just by the officers. Now Morrell says this action shows the administration doesn't care what the community thinks. It sends the message to voters from the administration we don't care what you want we're going to continue to operate the way we want to operate and we're going to pull these backroom dastardly tactics to try to circumvent your will the voters want a public process to have faith in a chief and for any effort by this administration to circumvent that is just confirming to them a they made the right decision in voting for a confirmation and b this council may have to step up in a very aggressive way now, multiple city council leaders say they were hoping that the person who would take his position would be from out of the state or even just around the country, hoping to bring new ideas to try to fight and tackle this crime. And we haven't heard from Chief Ferguson just yet in person. We're hoping to hear from him tomorrow at a, a press conference that we're expecting. Reporting here at City Hall, I'm Cassie Sherm. Back to you guys. All right, interesting developments there, Cassie. Thank you so much. And for more on this breaking news announcement by Superintendent Ferguson and what's to, to come for the NOPD, you can head over to WDSU.com and, of course, our free mobile app. Tonight, WDSU investigates uncovered new information on the man.